Today, we're going thrifting, but we're going thrifting for somebody else. And also somebody else is going thrifting for me. Let me explain. Hi, I'm Kathleen, and one of my favorite things about making thrifty videos on YouTube is all of the amazing people that I meet that also love thrifting and are, quite honestly, better at it than I am. So when my extremely fashionable and talented friend Louisa over at Funky Cool Threads reached out to me and said, hey, you wanna thrift some stuff for each other? I said, you don't have to ask me twice, let's do it. The goal was to thrift fall items, so things I can take us into the next season. And if you don't know, Louisa sells amazing vintage pieces. She posts awesome outfits on social makes YouTube videos about her adventures, so definitely go check her out. I have her video linked down below. And for now, let's go thrifting. So what I really whittled down from Louisa's mood board was ruffles, statement details, and transparency. So I'm trying to make it easier on myself and just kind of look for those things as I'm perusing the racks. It's working out pretty well so far. seen one of these in the wild. Wow. What do we think? Is this Luisa's vibe? And it's $69. This doesn't get any better. denim but like not denim pants just denim anything do you think this counts this is one of the wilder things i've ever seen one of the things i'd really love to find her is a vest she had a bunch of these types of vests pinned on her uh, mood board and i haven't seen anything in the women's section so maybe the men's section is something for me if i were a vest where would i be okay super cute bamboo wrapped vintage table Oh, hello. This is why we look through the kids section. Oopsies, accidentally have too much stuff. Let's sort it. This is another extremely strange thing. It's like little shorts. Hello. How many times do I have to tell you not to look at my snacks? How are you feeling? Doing well? I hope so. So in Louisa's wish list of items, she noted that one of her holy grail to thrift items is a bolo tie with a clown on it. And as you know from previous thrift swaps, I like to do a little handmade gift. So um, let's make our wildest dreams come true. Speaking of wildest dreams, look at this dream boat. <laughs> you wanna come with Gush? Come on. So it's officially um, pumpkin spice latte season, so. Decorative gourd and a little baby one too. I just thrifted these candles. If the thrift gods are co-signing, spooky season has begun. Who am I? Who am I to tell them they're wrong? Anyways, I looked for a bolo tie at the thrift store. Couldn't find one. Luckily, I have one of my own that I did thrift. It's a little too Western for me. It's just this little, kind of just looks like a resin print oval. And doesn't that just look like the perfect frame to put a clown within? I think so too. For materials, we... Are you quite all right and quite done, dogs? Where are you? Where... 
whose dogs are you? Those are some sky dogs. We've got Sculpey that I've had for literal years. I've got a cutting mat. I think a glass pane would work better. And I've got my little X-Acto kit that I showed in last week's video that features a bunch of carving tools. Do I need carving tools? I mean, maybe. I feel like this would be pretty helpful. Whoa. Is this a pencil sharpener? Or like a, it shaves off a little piece of clay? I don't know, see anything like that. But before we do anything, I need to sketch my clown. There are so many options. Are we gonna do a full body clown? Are we gonna do a clown bust? Clown cameo? These are the decisions that we have to make through the art of sketching. These sketches turned out a little spookier than I intended rude. So I had to keep things pretty simple because this is a small little guy. Couldn't put too many details and it had to remain iconic, recognizable from a distance. I played around a little with like having a rodeo clown. Not quite clown enough. So I think I like the jester hat. This is cute. This is unsettling but also kind of in a cute way. Hey, Louisa asked for this. It's not like I'm forcing a clown on someone who isn't asking for a clown. There's clown consent <laughs> going on. I don't know. Oh, let's just roll some dough. Dough? This is not an edible clown. Egg. And this is why we do flat sculpts on a glass panel, because this is gonna be annoying, is one word, to get off of here. And if you like clay crafting content, my friend Kira over at Prickly Alpaca just released, oh, the most amazing miniature sculpting video. How is she so good at everything? It's kind of wild to behold. So I'm just gonna make my little clown guy over here and you can go watch her amazing skilled sculpting video. Um, after this. Everyone say goodbye to my son. Goodbye, son. Enjoy your time in hell. I mean that. I mean that. Uh, do, you, do you see? Are we seeing this? Why, yes, that is a spider web. So spooky. Are we liking this come over that's happening over my glasses? Is that, oh, do I live in a haunted house? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Wow. Ball down! Oh no, don't tell Louisa. Clown reveal. Sorry. Clown reveal. Remember how crusty, musty, dusty he was looking? I buffed him. No, no. So smooth. Still missing ball. And then we paint. The back. We don't worry about the back. Just like the back of my head, what it looks like is none of mine or your business. Hello. Majelli. Huh? For all of y'all that were stressed out about all of the loose button action I had going on, never fear, okay? We can sleep well again. So, last night, I did a little ball reconstruction surgery. They're a triple bald gentleman once again. I think I've landed on the color palette I wanna use. It's probably better if I just show you instead of telling you. So let's, you know. Okay, 
let's try that again. Adding the eye placement and nose placement on these more simplified faces makes so much of a difference. I already borked it. That's kind of cute. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Now my last question is, do I add like big lips? I think the answer is no. <laughs> It's time to glaze. And yeah, I took off my outer shirt. You wanna know why? Because I walked through a big spider web and I'm scared there's a spider in it. Or potentially in my hair, but uh, I'm not gonna think about that too much. A girl's got a snack. And sometimes that snack is a raw cucumber. And does. Why do you guys watch these videos? <laughs> This goes to Louisa. I gotta try it on, make sure it's cute, and be tempted to keep it for myself. Come look, come look. Well, is it cute or what? This is kind of a perfect clowning shirt to wear with it. I cannot wait to see what Louisa does with this. Let's get her stuff packed up to the post office. And next time you see me, we'll be opening up a very exciting package. You know, I say this probably weekly, but one of my favorite things about being an adult is the fact that you can buy as much gum as you want and chew as much gum as you want. I have three pieces in my mouth right now. Who's gonna tell me not to do that? Not you. The best part about waking up is going back to sleep <laughs> what is that <laughs> not the coffee skin <clears throat> you didn't see that i didn't experience that expunge it from the record takes another sip immediately um it's time we're also outside enjoy the beautiful ambiance of the trash trucks was my package to louisa this big no do i feel kind of bad yeah I think she spoiled me. So we were both thrifting for each other for fall, keeping fall color palettes in mind, fall layering pieces. And we also sent each other Pinterest boards. If you watched one of my outfit recipes videos, I said one of my favorite ones recently is princess in a silly goofy mood. So that was kind of the vibe, like artsy princess or just anything vintage, anything with a statement detail, puffy sleeves, doesn't have to be princessy. But basically if it's weird, I'm down. So let's see how weird she got. After I open this up, we're gonna put the items to the test and put some fall outfits together with them. I'm very excited for that. I'm also leaving for San Francisco at about four in the morning <clears throat> tomorrow morning. So am I gonna make a mess right before I leave? Probably, but maybe I'll get some outfit inspo <laughs> to take with me because I also haven't packed yet. Birth! Oh my gosh. She says it's vintage, grungy, artsy, and graphic. That's exactly what I asked for. Best part about waking up is opening a vintage treasure package from your friend. Okay, girl, we said like three to five pieces. This feels like way more. My old coworker gifted me this 80s collection of jewelry pieces. Picked my faves for you. Enjoy. Are we hearing this? Okay, let's save this after we look at the big pieces. If this ain't fall in a color palette, I don't know what is. Made in Italy? Is this silk? I think it's silk. Also, there's little areas of like repair on the inside. I love that little detail. This has been loved. Okay, I'm imagining this with like a long skirt, Diane Keaton vibes, who I've always loved her style. I think I've mentioned that before, but I never knew why because it's pretty like safe. And then I saw on social media that she has uh, clown shoes in her shoe collection. And I was like, oh, that's why. Cause she's an undercover clown, just like me. She's my clown mom. Grandma, a long skirt to pair with the blazer. Perfect layering texture. I feel like people sometimes shy away from white as the weather gets cooler. But I think if you add texture and like thickness to it, coarseness, it totally fits in. I mean, you can wear whatever you want whenever you want, obviously. But if you've struggled with that before, get you some texture. Have I even shown you a good picture? Maxi length, crochet details, two for two, let's go. I don't think I have anything this color in my collection. This like mossy green. Louisa, are you trying to turn me into like a fairy core princess? And look what we have here, rosettes. Didn't we talk about that last week? It could be a dress or a little layering tunic. Okay. You guys, it's a corset. It's a double paneled corset by the brand. Let's fashion. Don't mind if I do. Wait, it's a tank. And there's so much give in the sides that it's, it'll definitely fit over my very powerful titties. 
I feel like everything in this first bag is meant to be paired together and I'm gonna try it most definitely. Should we look at some jewelry? This is so kind of you. Y'all know that I love chunky quasi gaudy like costume jewelry, especially clip on earrings. This is a Sailor Moon watch. <sighs> I literally, my breath was just taken away. So it's not literally a Sailor Moon watch, but it kind of is. You know her crystal compact that she uses to do her magical girl transformation? Let's see, let's see if this does it for me. Well, the jewel tones. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Oh no. It fell through the deck. It's gone. <laughs> um, I'll get that. Don't worry. We've got the cutest little collar clip. Gorgeous enamel bangle. A couple of super cool watches. But I still have more to look through. Clippies. Oh my gosh. Question mark? What, what is that? I'm gonna cry. These are amazing. Whoa. <laughs> Those feel sexy. Are these Oscar de la Renta? I think they are. That is heavy metal. I love that. Huh. Is this fun for you? Cause it's really fun for me. And there's more. These scream like Midsummer Night's Dream. The sleepy little flower. Puffy heart. My eyes just started watering. <laughs> Louisa, thank you. If y'all wanna get spoiled too. Louisa, if you don't already, you should offer like uh, packs, like vintage packs, a whole outfit with accessories. You were made for this. Please open last. It's from her Funky Cool Threads vault. She knew I had to have it. Thank you so much for sharing your treasure with me. Color, are these pants? Oh, it's a set, it's a set. We have a set, people. 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 Sorry, I had to take a lap. Art to Wear by Ken Dunn. Have y'all heard of this brand? I have not. I've only heard about wearable art by Bob Mackie. I must put this on my body. Got the watch. Also, are you seeing this set? It's double-breasted. Huh? So this is like quite literally what I'm going to wear to the airport tomorrow. And in the wise words of a very thick caterpillar, I feel like a beautiful butterfly. It's true. With the thrifted purple and pink Nikes, come on. Let's try on the other stuff. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a skirt or a dress, but I'm gonna try it as a dress. I'm gonna throw this on top. I am obsessed with this top. I'm going to the Bay Area for a wedding and I had my outfit all picked out, but then I'm like, maybe I switch everything up and make something with this because uh, you'll see. Oh, I feel very toot because I am very toot with the earrings and the Sailor Moon watch. Now the question is, do I add booby ribbons? I mean, it is whimsical, you gotta admit. But we're not done yet. We have more layering to do, let's try. The silk blazer. It's fun, right? Especially with the sleeves rolled up a little bit. Kinda matches the enamel in this bangle. Why do I feel like I'm cosplaying as Howl's bedroom from Howl's Moving Castle? In a good way, in the best, most exquisite trinkety way. I still do wanna try styling this in a more autumnal layering way, maybe with a sweater and a skirt. Let's try our green friend real quick. Yeah, I think this is a great option if you need a little more coverage or just want a little more coverage on the shoulders and some more length in the layers. <gasps> you almost died. I saved your life. I feel like I should be tromping through the woods, foraging for mushrooms and looking really cute while I do it. You could even try layering something like this underneath your tight top layer to get even more of like a historical kind of petticoat apron energy. Okay, let's try the autumnal outfit. Just kidding, first here's the full fit. Here's the bag I would use. So cute. Time for autumn now. Okay, so I just recently picked up this maxi length denim utility dress. Let's tilt you down a little bit. From a local secondhand shop. I got it specifically thinking that maybe it would be involved in a certain um, Studio Ghibli and Levi's collab video. But then I got it home and I was like, wait, this is just cool as it is. Still undecided. If you know what I'm talking about and uh, that sounds interesting for a video topic, let me know down below. And I know that maxi denim skirts are in vogue at the moment. So let's make it our own and use a maxi length denim dress instead. Does this look crazy or cool? Or maybe crazy cool? I feel like maybe I need a cooler shoe, like maybe some color in the shoe and a belt perhaps. Let's accessorize. 
Okay, so we've talked about on my channel before how I'm like in a kind of frenemies, enemies to lovers, perhaps relationship with belts. I don't love them. So instead I tried wrapping this little like beaded sash just to add a little bit of texture, a little bit of shape. It's way too bright. It's not very autumnal of you. But we do have some fun shoes. Red snakeskin boots? Not really snakeskin, they're plastic. But I just thrifted. Although something really weird happened to me regarding these boots. I tried them on at the thrift store and then I brought them home and then when I was just about to put them on just now, there were socks in them and they were not my socks. Never seen these socks in my life. So did someone pull them out of my cart and try them on and leave their socks in it and then put them back in my cart? Stranger things have happened. All I know is that to finish up this outfit, oh, by the way, I've got the little heart earrings on now. So cute. I'm feeling very um, rom-com at the moment. I also have two scarves. I'm very interested in trying this baby blue one that I made during my last Studio Ghibli and Loewe collab video. I wasn't sure if it would look too bright. Let's check. What do we think? Maybe I want it to be tighter. Give it a more skinny scarf vibe. Cute. There's a little bit of bluish in here with this lighter hue. Unexpected. And then we have the coziest, most quintessential. It's fall y'all scarf. I mean, how could it be wrong when it feels so right? You know what I mean? Hey, son, I know you're like all powerful and like probably don't care about what I want, but could it like get cooler a little bit sooner so that I can wear this without sweating my bees off? And by bee, I mean balls. I feel so cute. And let's talk about that. Do I even need to ask? Okay, I'll ask. What'd you think? You know, it feels good to get spoiled sometimes and Louisa definitely spoiled me, so thank you so much. Rocking my corset, rocking my earrings. If you wanna find some amazing gems for yourself, go check her out. She has a new website, it's lovely. And make sure to go watch her video after this one. See what her experience was like thrifting for me and how she styled the couple pieces I got for her. If you like this video, well, you're in luck cause I post them a lot. So feel free to subscribe if you'd like to be notified next time I do so. I'd really appreciate it. Speaking of, uh, Po posting videos. I don't know. That's a bad segue. I'm in California right now. Like as you're seeing this video, I'm going to do my darn tootinest to film a thrifting video for you while I'm there. Will I be successful? I guess we'll both find out. So fingers crossed that the San Francisco thrift gods smile upon me as kindly as they do here. And I'm also going to be in New York this month. So we'll be doing some thrifting there. And I'm also going to be in Paris this month. So we're going to do some thrifting there. And I'm also going to be in Vienna this month. So we're maybe going to do some thrifting there. I told you my September is cray cray. If you want to keep up with me during the week while I'm on my traveling adventures, then come on over to Instagram and hang out at Kathleen Illustrated. And if you want to watch another thrifty video, here you go. And if you'd rather watch something a little more intellectual, here's some style analysis videos for you. I'm going to get out of here. You're stinky and I love you. And that's it. Bye.